Hey folks, Steve Nash here at St. Paul Hotel in lovely old Montreal, and I'm fortunate enough to be in the company of Giancarlo Caltabiano, a big name actor from uh, Vancouver. Giancarlo, welcome back to Montreal, buddy. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. So how does it feel to be back in the city? Uh, yeah, like it feels cold. <laughs> very, very cold out here. Uh, but like I, uh, like I said to most of my family, uh, there's a lot more culture here and I, and I love coming back here and the joie de vivre is here, man. Like Montreal is so much more European. Vancouver is a great city. Montreal is, uh, is more real, more real. I like that. It's always good to hear. Always good to hear a fellow Montrealer coming back and even talking even better about the city. Uh, so you started your career with uh, the Mysteries Files of uh, Shelby Wu, right? Yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> well, it feels like a long time ago. I'm not that old, but uh, it's been a while now. That was like a decade ago about. Yeah, did that. Then uh, what else did I do? You tell me. You did some research. What else did I do, Steve? I forgot. <laughs> Well, because you have such a short memory, I'll remind you. Uh, you were in the, the Bonanno story. Uh, you also did Il Duce Canadese. And, yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, Radioactive. Three seasons of that and then fries with that. Two seasons of that. Yeah. Um, you were also in the movie Abandon, which was with uh, Katie Holmes. And my scene got cut. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it was fun. I had the opportunity to work with uh, Oscar winner uh, Stephen Gagan at the time. And uh, the audition was awesome. I went in and uh, I just blew him away. He just he just looked at my resume, put it down. He goes, wow, that that was really good, man. That like that was the best feeling to get like an Oscar winner say that, you know, about your talent. Three years of acting school, you know, it hasn't been, you know, flushed down the toilet. So it was pretty good. It was pretty, pretty cool good experience. You were recently in uh, Journey to uh, the Center of the Earth. What, what was your experience uh, on that set? It was great. Uh, we did uh, five-day shoot. Two of those days was with uh, Brendan Fraser. We shot long days, though. It was from uh, seven at night till eleven in the morning. So everybody was uh, really, really tired. But uh, Brendan Fraser was such a pro and just kept at it. Really, really good. Really a fun experience. Really fun experience. And now you're working on the uh, film Memory Lanes. What's uh, what's the premise for that film? It's actually a TV show. It's a t uh, television pilot. Uh, it stars Ryan Stiles. Uh, you guys might know him from um, uh, Whose Line Is It Anyways? and uh, the Drew Carey Show. Uh, he's the executive producer. Uh, basically, it's about uh, two brothers who inherit uh, bowling alley. Uh, their dad passed away, and uh, they're bickering over this bowling alley. Hence the title memory lanes and I play one of the characters uh, Chester who's a little bit of a I don't want to use the word simple but he's uh, he's a little slow <laughs> so uh, we'll see if it gets picked up uh, we did that at the end of October which which network is this for probably CBC probably CBC uh, I mean fortunately it's Canada there's not too many networks out here CBC CTV so we'll see where it goes uh, but the, the show has a lot of American uh, actors as well, so hopefully it uh, could get picked up in the States as well. That'd be great. Yeah. So what inspired you to become an actor? Like, was it something that when you were a kid, you were watching TV one day and said, oh, I want to do that, or you saw a movie and you saw this actor and you're like, you know what, I want to be just like him. So what, what chord did it strike in you that said, I want to do this? It's actually really weird. Uh, I was into martial arts, and I was trying to figure out a way to make... Um, money doing what I love and I'm like how do I make money doing martial arts you know uh, so I go I'll, I'll be a stuntman so I decided to take you know most stuntmen or martial artist actors like uh, back then it was uh, Brandon Lee and uh, he wasn't that great of an actor I'm like you know what how come there's no good martial artist that can act so I go I'll take some acting classes as well uh, I took acting class at Dome Theater, Dawson College. Uh, next thing you know, I, I loved it so much. I felt like I found my calling. I gave up martial arts and everything. And I've been acting ever since. And it's, uh, it's been one hell of a ride, man. I can't complain. It's been really good. And what's the, mo the move been like from Montreal to Vancouver? Like, is there a lot more opportunities for actors in Vancouver? Or is it, like, at par here with Montreal? There's a lot more opportunities. Um, but like any new city, every time you go in, you have to start over, especially here in Canada. There's no, not really a star system. So we, when I went there, uh, like I said, it's a year and a half now. Uh, it took 
a while to get the ball rolling. Um, now I think it's starting to roll again. Also, I, I kind of put acting a bit on the side. I wanted to uh, adjust to my new city, make new friends, you know, enjoy, enjoy the time I'm there. Uh, like I said, now the ball is rolling, uh, so we'll see what happens. I think, uh, I think 2009 is going to start being a good year for me. I think now is the point that people tell me it takes about two years to get used to Vancouver. And I'm starting to feel that, that now it's, it's going to start, it's going to start rolling. So it's, uh, I'm excited to see what 2009 has in store for me. As actors, we always have a, have a plan or goals. What are some of your goals for the next maybe two, two some odd years? Oddly enough, I don't believe in planning or making goals. <laughs> I gave up on making plans because I realized uh, life has its own course. Uh, I let things happen. Right now, I'm riding the wave. And uh, yeah, the, the wave is riding tall and strong. And uh, I don't know, man, I don't think it's crashing anytime soon. So we'll see. No plans, no plans. Just go with the flow. Giancarlo, it's always great to see you here in Montreal, and we hope we come back soon. Hey, thank Thanks you. a lot, man.